Hey guys, pretty exciting week ahead. We're putting steel back in the hole. Cheryl isn't with me this week, she has to work. So I'm battling this out on my own. So what I'm up to today, I've got to increase the size of that hole even more on the port side. The material's rusted up fairly high up the side of the hole. So I just want to take all that out. It's only a little bit of pitting, but I figured that while I've got a sheet of steel there, I'm better off just killing two birds with one stone and taking the lot out instead of finding out later that I've got to take it out anyway or are causing me problems in years to come. So basically how I'm going to tackle this, I'm just going to cut a bigger hole and then I'll slide a sheet in, lift the sheet up, mark it out and then trim it up into place. Be a little bit of messing around, I've got to put some stops in there um, so the sheet doesn't fall, I've got to put some lifting eyes on the sheet so on and so forth. So it's a bit of a process, but you'll, you'll, you'll see what I do as I go along. All right, I'll get onto it. Hope you enjoy this episode. I'm enjoying putting steel back in. It's pretty good. It's pretty exciting, actually. It's, um, uh, putting that keel back in the other day made it really, really good. Okay, so what you can see here, you can see this cut that I've made. Well, it's not exactly straight. And not only that, there's section of the, sections of this that are quite thin. So what I want to do, I'll just spin this around a bit. So this is the base of the fuel tank. So I want to bring the material right up to here, cut it through here, and then go up around the corner, and then along out this way. I want to try and get as much of the brand new sheet in here as possible, but what I'm really trying to do is to take this cracking material off that's sitting just here. So um, I just want to do away with all chances of any rust. So all I'm doing here now is I'm going to mark a line up from the bottom of the keel to where the bottom of the sheet sticks. And then I'm going to measure from there up to here and put a straight line all the way along. Hopefully parallel with the keel. Hopefully the keel's parallel with the rest of the boat. Chances are it's not. All right, I'll go and get a tape measure. I'll get some chalk and I'll get started on the cutting. Okay. So what I'm doing, so what I've done here now, I've just marked this out all the way across the back, down here a bit and down. Down there, just forward of the fuel tank and then down. And what I want to do now is just cut along just below that line that I've marked. And that way it'll heat everything up. I'll just touch it with a grinder and then I can go on the outside, mark it up correctly and cut it off neatly with the plasma. So this is basically what we're going to do. First up I'm going to trim that back with the plasma to make it nice and straight. Then we're going to cut our new piece of plate a little bit oversize. You know, 5 or 10 mil or something like that. And then we'll lift it up with a chain block, like that. And then we'll mark along it, drop it back down, and then we can cut it. The other thing we have to do here, we have to mark a line on them and take them away at that point. So the plate, when it's welded together, butts up to here, welded on, and then I put a new stiffener in, and that join is nowhere near this join, so it can't flex. Alrighty, I'll just get on and I'll mark them all and then cut them all out.
Okay, so what I've done, I've just made some little, uh, some little ledges. They're just a little cleat. I'm just going to weld them just under there, and then we'll hang our chain blocks, chain blocks from the roof, and then I'm going to drag the plate in. I'll rest the plate up on there, and then we'll pull it up the rest of the way so that we can mark around it. So what I've done with these, I've cut them in a little bit of an angle. So that kind of resembles the angle of the hull. It's not quite, but it's close enough. So what that'll do is as the, as the plate comes in, it'll kind of help it to slide down until it hits the, hits the flat bar, hits the keel. Okay, so now what I'm what I'm doing, I've hung, I've put a hole up there for a chain block, and I've put another one just here. So what I need to do is measure where, in relation to the keel and the end of the plate, where where I'm going to put my lifting lugs on the plate outside. So I'll just hang this chain block. I'll measure out from there, back from there, and then from that one to that one, and then I'll transfer those measurements onto the plate, and that's where my lifting lug will go. So all I'm doing here is just putting an inch of weld each side of this lug on opposite corners. A welder's rule of thumb is an inch of weld will hold a ton. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag it in here a bit to start with. Um, and then I'm going to transfer that onto that lifting, uh, I'm going to transfer that chain block onto that lifting lug because I want the plate to come in that way. Alrighty, here we go. Just slide it in here a bit more if I can. Just slide it across a bit more while we can. I don't know if you've counted how many times I've hit my head on that exhaust today, but I can guarantee you it's a lot.
so now what I need to do is I need to put another chain puller from here across to the far side there um, just so I can pull that up because at, at the moment it's just pulling up just a little bit too level and um, I can't quite get close the gap. Thanks for watching. Next time what I'm planning to do is to trim that plate out. I'm going to have to weld another lifting lug in that corner, in that corner, get the chain puller and pull the plate up. Once I've done that, I'll move around it. I'll drop the whole thing back down and then I'll, I'll cut it out with the plasma again. All right, so unfortunately I didn't get as far ahead as I wanted to get. I got a fair bit done, but I didn't get the sheet quite trimmed out, so that'll be a job for tomorrow. Probably the biggest killer for me at the moment is the time that it's taking to unpack and set everything back up. But um, So until I get the whole clothes back in again, I'm just not going to have that luxury of being able to just put everything on board and just leave it there. <clears throat> it's a bit unsecure at the moment, and anyone can take my gear, so I've just got to keep packing it away. There's a lot of light-fingered people around these parts so we've just got to be um, careful with our gear. All right until until next episode stay safe be good I'll talk to you soon.